Hi, this is Jerry from FlexCart, and I'm here with the second prototype of the housekeeping cart uh, that we're working on. And uh, this video is to show you the features that it has, but also the changes that took place from the first prototype. Um, I think we're real close on this one. Remember, our goal is a very lightweight, easy to maneuver, small uh, in size, cart that has everything extremely organized, has everything that is needed in a very thoughtful way so that it, it minimizes the effort that is needed to do the job uh, and makes it uh, much more productive uh, quicker. Uh, so uh, having said that, let's just start on the front here and take a look at some of the things, that, the features that you'll see and I'll point out the new ones also. Um, number one, you can see that there's a, a holder built in for the duster, which is kind of nice right there. It's always going to be right there when you need it. Um, the storage areas that were there before are still here, same size and everything. But what we did was we added this um, uh, cover to protect the contents of the storage area from the wheel and any debris that might go in. Now, right now, it covers about half of the uh, bin. You know, it, later on, we might decide it goes a little bit higher, possibly. But at least you have a cover there to, to see if it works for you. Um, additionally, uh, the drawers are the same with the bins inside, you know, you've got the ability to carry a lot of stuff and it's organized, you don't put it all together, each, each item has a place, uh, so you can see that these drawers have the bins in them, and then of course the top drawer that has several areas to store papers and things like that, uh, cell phones, personal items. Um, another thing that we did was add a strap to the, to the front of this area. Um, I did not cover it uh, because I'm not sure exactly what that would entail. You know, what are you putting on here? How tall it would be? I don't want to limit the capacity of it. So what we'll do is we'll get this into use and then we'll talk about this area because it's one of the last things that we might modify and change. But to help hold things in place, you've got a strap. Uh, you can work on this surface or you can put things on it and then just keep them from come falling off with this strap. Um, so uh, let's see what else that I have here. I've got the pneumatic, oh, pneumatic wheels were added. So this was requested uh, to allow it, the cart to go over the cobblestone uh, paver driveways and for long distances and rough areas. So I think this is gonna be a good option. Uh, we've picked a good quality, high quality pneumatic wheels. It raised the cart up uh, but I adjusted the handle height so that it, the handle height stayed down uh, to make it easy to push. Uh, so, and also the way this is designed, it, the wheels could be changed to non-pneumatic and smaller wheels and still be uh, very functional. Uh, so let's see what else we've got. Um, the locking rod, same as before, stores back here in a little hole uh, uh, to the outside of this uh, surround and then locks here. And then there's a hole in here that you can put a lock in. So you've got the ability to lock these drawers, which is nice, and store it right there for when you need it. Um, and that's pretty much it for this area. That let's go take a look at the front of the cart. Now on the front, it's gonna be very similar. Some of the differences include uh, that this is a little bit longer now doesn't really affect how it was working for you, but it, it needed to happen for several reasons. Uh, take this vacuum off, you can see we've got a nice place for it to sit, and there's a rubber bumper down here that allows, can you see that? Yeah, you, so that allows, you know, in case this corner were to contact something, it wouldn't scratch it. Uh, it also provides a soft resting spot for this wheel that's on the bottom of the vacuum on the front that would sit right here. So it should you know, help to protect the vacuum and keep it from uh, breaking over time. You can also see in here that we have the same pockets that we had before, so more pockets, and then a filter, uh, vacuum filter storage area right there. So this uh, area is fairly similar, uh, but then improved just a little bit. Same bungee cord, same handle on the front. If you remember this, uh, allows you, as you're using the cart to to get on in the inside of the room, hold the door open and pull the cart through the uh, doorway. So this handle is still there. Now, since we're facing this side, let's take a look at what's going on here. Some changes took place. 
Uh, these used to be distributed, the mops and brooms distributed around the cart. And there was a, su a suggestion uh, by one of the ladies that they should be lined up right here. And I think it's a great idea. So we did two things, um, made it nice and neat on this one side, actually several things. Changed the clip, because we were having trouble with that clip, to a much heavier duty, longer lasting style of clip. So pulling it out and putting it back in is a lot easier. Down at the bottom, we no longer have the PVC tube, that was a prototype. Now we have a production version, which is a steel ring and, and a, a piece of angle that allows it to have a bottom and then a place to hold the bottom of the, uh, the handle. So you've got you know three of these nice and neat on the side now. So that's a nice improvement. And then over here, you've got the pockets that were here are gone, obviously, but it, it appeared as though they weren't needed. So you've got a nice array of nine pockets here. And then it was also suggested that there might need to be a cover over this for aesthetic reasons. I personally think this looks great the way it is because it's so organized. And as long as things are kept neat in them, it'll always be a good display to the guest. But if there's a need felt to cover it, there's now a cover that it just rolls up and sits here and it covers the top six pockets. So, you know, it, it, it kind of makes it look a little bit better, I suppose. And you have that option now. It just will sit up here uh, rolled up until it, you ever need it. Rolling it back up, you just, let me turn it sideways so you can see better. Just fold it in like this and roll it up nice and tight. There's Velcro on the inside of it. And you, you got your cover rolled up and out of the way. So um, on this side, you, you've got some nice new improvements that I think will help uh, from what I was told was needed. Um, let's see if there's anything else on this side. Uh, no, that's pretty much it on this side. So let's, let's take a look at the back. The back, you've still got this great bottle holder that holds up to nine bottles, eight to nine bottles. Uh, and it'll hold uh, eight of these or uh, six of those round ones and a couple of these uh, odd shaped ones. So you've got lots of storage capability and you can also replace one of these with a cup and it'll hold other items rather than a bottle. So there's a lot of storage options on the, on the top here, which I'm sure you're familiar with from the original prototype. But let me show you the back here. So it was requested that we would get rid of the trash can that was back here and put in a storage area. And so this is what we did. Let me turn it at an angle. So you can zip this down and you've got storage, three shelves, one here about six inches, this is about nine, this is about nine. So you've got a, a substantial amount of additional storage area where you can then organize again. You've got the ability to put three different things in here and keep them in their own separate spots. If you needed to, you can even take this completely apart like this. It unzips on the bottom. Uh, but I think for most of the time, you're just going to keep it connected. So we just put the zipper back in. Of course, I'm having difficulty with it, but it's not that hard. And then go like this. That's why if you just go like this, you got access and you can leave the bottom connected. So it's simple, uh, rugged fabric should last, rugged zipper uh, should last. So I think you'll like this option. I'll be looking forward to hearing what you think about this area and how you used it. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, so I told you about the handle height. Um, and then, you know, one other thought too, and we'll talk about this when I see you next, there could be a pocket or two on this side and on this side. So it all depends on what you need. You know, if there's more storage needed, if you need to carry and separate things, I'm a big believer in making sure that each item has its own spot. If you pick a location for an item and you make sure that that is where you keep that item in no other place, you'll always have that item in the quantity that you want and you'll never wonder where it is. So as you're loading this up and you, if you decide, man, I need a couple more spots, this would be a great area to add those spots. Um, and then uh, that's probably about it. I think I've taken you through the whole uh, cart and the changes that we made. Uh, ultimately, I think we've really improved it, uh, refined it, 
based on the feedback that you gave me and I'm um, looking forward to sending this out in a day or two to you, having you use it and then uh, meeting you and talking about how it worked. Um, if anyone needs to call me and talk to me, my number is 614-348-2517. Thanks.